It's the day before the Arc of Attrition 50. I've arrived really early. The registration doesn't open till 5 p.m. So I've just popped down into Porth Town to recce the last bit of the route. This isn't the last bit of the route. I just thought I'd hit the beach first of all, because it looks stunning. Um, but I'm going to be heading up that cliff face there, not the cliff face, up the cliff path there just a moment to do an out and back of the last bit of the route because it's going to be dark so I thought that might be a good idea to recce that but it's just so beautiful the weather forecast looks amazing so lucky still cold but it looks stupendous it is hard to imagine that something so beautiful could be so brutal but I am about to find out wow just wow now, if I don't fall off or get timed out tomorrow, I'm gonna to have an amazing time on this race because it is just gorgeous. Look at this. This is Sally's Bottom, a huge section of really oversized steps going all the way down to the sea, then all the way back up to the cliff top again. So this is not gonna be fun at about, I don't know, 47 miles in? Who knows? If I've gone wrong, it'll be even more. But wrecking Sally's bottom is enough of a racky for me. Um, so back I go to register for the ARC 50. Ah, am I going to make it? Keep watching. Oh, I thought I'd be first at registration because I'm 15 minutes early, but there's loads of people here already and there's a massive queue. We're ready to go. Yay! I passed the kit check. the morning and then we'll see but you know yeah do what we can do as long as it's as sunny as it was today it's like great weather doesn't it oh well i hope you smash it tomorrow and you nice head torches oh that's everything you could possibly need you don't have to bring anything to this race to be honest you just buy it all here let's go and have dinner <laughs> but I'm going now to stay with my family. It's my dad's cousin and his family. I think I've met them about twice in my life. So I'm now about to rock up, demand a high carb meal, leave at 4.30 in the morning, get back after midnight and then sleep in until about midday on Sunday. So I don't know if I'm going to be that popular with my relatives. Let's see what happens, shall we? So this is my family. <laughs> Bye, Claire's family. <laughs> Right, it's Saturday morning, it's about nearly half five, we're just about to get on the coaches. Um, but I have forgotten to fill in my uh, number with all my name details. Hi. Yeah, not too bad, a bit tired, early start. Yeah, me too. Are you feeling prepared for the race? I am now, can't wait to get going. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of a while, isn't it, to wait, but... Yeah, <laughs> I can sleep on a coach. Have a great race, see you all back here. Thank you. Thank you. The race hasn't started yet, we're just walking to the Minak Theatre. Maybe I should put my garment on now. Hello friends! Good morning. Good morning! Good morning! Okay, so down here I think we can get a cup of tea while we wait. So. This must be one of the most spectacular places to start a race in the world. Race mode! I probably should be actually going, but this is really cool to film.
Volcano here at the Minac Theatre and now I've just got to get to Pendine before 12.30. Um, the first cutter. You'll be interviewing me at the end, last in pray, remember that. <laughs> It's a stiff pace to start, but you've got to do four, four miles an hour to Pendine to make the cutter at half twelve. So pushing it to start more than I usually would. Fan, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You'll be in the film now, going through that gate. <laughs> the poles are actually quite handy going down these steps. Um, and just for balance on all these rocks. Around every corner is just an even better view, and it's really hard not to film it all. <laughs> My heart rate is like 180. <laughs> so uh, let's see how that goes. Well, well. Made it in, uh, it's 9.43, which I think is a bit later than Lizzie made it, so I better get a move on. So I've been eating little nibbles of this. Knack energy bar. We have a bit more now. so far and it's taken me nearly two and a half hours so uh, I am a little bit like 10 minutes behind Lizzie's split but I'm hoping that I'm just hoping that I don't know I think I might be a bit more experienced in the distance than she was so I'm hoping that I can sort of maintain rather than let the pace drop um, over the second half but who knows it's gonna be tight guys <laughs> but even if I do get timed out it's gonna it's just a beautiful place to be it's a really lovely route it's a bit of a shame to sort of have to smash it out because I'd love to just stay and take a load of photos but it's a challenge isn't it hello seen something good oh is this a, is this a checkpoint Water time. Oh, I didn't, have to. Thank you. didn't exactly nail that checkpoint in very efficient time. 
jacket. It's gonna be tight to Pandine. But, right, less talking, more walking. Just having a waffle. I'm a bit worried now about the cutter. I think I might have to just stop filming for a little bit just to make sure I get there. Because it's quite hard work. I just said to the marshal that I'm worried about the cutoff at Pendine, and he said, Oh, no, you're fine. It's only three miles away to there. So, so that's good. It's just gone 20 past 11. So, three miles at 15 minute miles is 45 minutes. Can't really do that maths right now. Uh, but yeah, that, that puts me in at. Oh, I keep finding a litter on the ground. Uh, say it takes me even an hour. That's still 20 past. And get one of you with two traffic cakes in your mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Woohoo! Thank you very much. Yay, so we made it to Pendine. <laughs> Just went through an area I can best describe as giant boulders in a bog um, so it's a bit like this but bigger boulders and deeper swamp um, and uh, yeah poles are really useful for this bit um, for checking how deep stuff is and balancing across these really slippy rocks so uh, yeah definitely into the poles but just imagine this on a day when it's actually raining. Now, I remember Lizzie, who I interviewed, saying that um, if you can run, you have to run. So this bit, I'm gonna break into a little jog. This is like my type of terrain now. Muddy, rocky, no footsteps the same as the next. And I'm catching uh, just a few people. So that makes you feel better as well. Not regretting my decision to wear leggings though and a long sleeve top. I'm wearing the sore, sore run tights and they're just fantastic. Like they're good in also in mild weather because they're really breathable. They dry really quickly. I feel like they're wicking the sweat away as well. So definitely pleased to just be wearing those, not have to worry about potentially putting shorts on later, even though it's a lovely day, we'll get cold. Um, the long sleeve base layer, really good choice as well. Um, you can just pull the arms down when needed, so it's nice and warm now. So I've got a sleeves rolled up. Oh, and the hat as well. I actually doctored the hat, but I like to wear a high ponytail. Don't know if you can see that. Um, I cut a big slit in the hat so that I can put my ponytail out the top rather than at the back because it just dangles on my neck, makes it hot and I don't like that. Hello! Hi, How are you? you? Hello! Yeah, how I'm are you feeling doing? like good. Um, but also, my thighs are just knackered. I think I didn't uh, have enough taper and I haven't done enough training. Um, so every uphill, they're just lacking in energy and va-va-voom, you know, they're not 
they're not hurting they're just really slow like big like they feel like big lead lead thighs to drag around today my thighs are shot <laughs> Running superbly. This is the hill up to Zana. Oh. I'm gonna need a zipper frame after Zana. Oh my goodness. He steps. Oh. Sally's bottom is going to be horrendous. Oh my goodness. I don't have any thigh muscles left already. Are you done 20 miles? Oh my God. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh my goodness. Mm, a little coat. That's unexpected. Very nice. I just like not wanted to stop you sort of overtake people and then you're like you don't want to then be overtaken lots of rocks tricky underfoot don't have to go too fast jog along yeah really like this section and nice to see some people at Zena and get some top up I have got 500 mils left um, but this is a welcome addition. Oh, hello. Are you, are you? You're coming past. That's okay. Yeah, Thank off you. you go. Speedy Gonzalez here. Just trying not to go too slowly. Oh. Yeah. I hope I'm going the right way. Through here. Right. Oh. Leg. Move, leg. Move. Come on, leg. Uh, it's too much for the leg. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure that I'm going the right way here. But usually, I love this, but today, it's challenging. Oh, goodness me. Oh, right, well, I think I am going the right way, actually. That's video this one. He's having a little rest too, look. Fun bit, it's a fun bit. even halfway not even dark and it's not even raining oh my god since that coke I had a bit of a tummy ache um so just gonna take it easy uh I've just went for a week I've been needing a week since the start um, so it's good to get that out. <laughs> According to my watch, 23 miles, so almost at halfway. Hoorah! Need to get to St. Ives at half four. It's now 20 past three, so keep going. Getting there. That was quite uh, 
good, like really rocky, which I like. But one poor guy just seen he'd fallen over and bloody his nose. So uh, I hope he's okay. Um, he didn't need anything, but he had a lot of people with him. Um, so that's good. Um, everybody's really friendly on this race. Be a good opportunity to tell you about what shoes and socks and, and insoles I wear, because I think that really helps me keep stable on my feet. Um, so I'm wearing CDAS socks and CDAS insoles. I've got a bit of a low volume foot, so I just find that having an insole there just sort of fills the shoe a tiny bit more. And also it gives it more grip than the standard Ciccone Exodus Ultra 2 insole that is put in there. I find that one a little bit slidey. Um, so the CDAS insoles stop your foot from sliding around. And the CDAS socks, they've got um, a silicon gripper, which is just at the start of the arch, just close to the heel area. Um, and that's really good for stopping the sock roll around and it grips nicely to the insole as well. So yeah, really like those. Um, and uh, I'll try and do a bit of a foot shot now. We're now halfway, just, just over 25 miles. I think, if my watch is right, St Ives is here. Oh man, I think my watch is like a mile out. It's telling me I've done nearly 26 miles. So that can't be more than a mile in there. I think I've lost a mile somewhere. Feel a bit sick, but happy to get to St Ives. Because once you've got to St Ives, you're over halfway and you've basically cracked it. Sort of. Oh, oh sorry, just go past. It. Go past. <laughs> Hello, it's so Charlotte well. again. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We made it. Yay. We just gonna get there. Well done. Well done, you. Well done you. Amazing. I can see some really mad people surfing. Oh wow. I oh, hesitate to call it running, but I finally like because we're nearly there. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Oh, lovely. Wow. Thank you. Go, Jackie. Go. My own escort. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? It's Claire. Claire. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Himani. You've got this. You've got 20 minutes still in touch off. Three minutes. Twenty minutes. Oh, yeah. So we said so three five, minutes. Five o'clock cut off here. Yeah. So do we have to be out of the check? No, you have to be out by nineteen uh, past. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've got about nine. Yeah. yeah. You have a decent amount of time. Yeah. 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 Hot food. Yeah. Tea, toilet. Lovely. Toilet. Oh, do you need medical attention as a medic? Just for my head. <laughs> Madness. You. <laughs> Oh, it's so warm in here. Yeah, shock when I go back outside. Right, what do I do? What do I need? I think I need tea and uh, uh, to get my food out of my bag and actually eat it. Someone amazing has gone and got me a cup of tea. Um, and another amazing person has taken my water bottles off me and put one electrolyte tablet in one. So um, I've got tuna sandwiches, I've got cheese sandwiches, and I'm not gonna carry them all the way around, so I don't really need any of this food. Um, I've got two packs of crisps as well, so I think I'm just gonna eat all of them, to be honest. Hello. Hello, Sir. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, to be here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, inside the cutter, really well. Yeah, yeah, we've got this now. I, d I don't think I can be bothered to like do anything to my feet. I think I'm just gonna crack on because uh, that'll take more time. They don't feel that bad. I've got um, like a blister on my right heel, but it's not like really painful or anything. So I'm just gonna crack on. I think I'm all prepared for the. Um, I'm not gonna have any food food. I don't really feel like that's gonna sit well. I might just get my bottles and then stand in the loo queue whilst I eat some food and then just crack on. 
Oh, I need to check if my period started as well, because it is due today. So I need to see if the moon cup needs to be employed. But yeah, all good. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's not quite dark. Four past five, and I'm heading out of the checkpoint. And yes, basically, it's uh, half six at Hale, and then eight o'clock at Good Devry. So can't hang around. I'm going to attempt to eat a tuna sandwich, which looks like it's in a poo bag. Yay! Thank you! Keep moving, keep smiling, keep warm, we'll see you in the day. I can do this. I've got my head torch up here. So I've decided to go for the Petzl Swift first of all. Um, thank you! Yeah! Thank you! Turn one. Okay, so I've decided to go for the Petzl Swift first of all, just because it's not as powerful as the now and it's not going to get like super dark until a bit. Oh, it's trying to rain now. I think I might put my waterproof on. I have seen you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna rain. Oh, yeah, bit soggy. Time to put waterproof on, I think. Thank you. Nearly there. <laughs> right. Just had a bit of a navigational moment. Um, I'm using this now. The lifesaver. I cannot work out that map on my watch. It's absolutely useless. There's no features, so you can't tell. You're just in the ether and there's a line. It's absolutely useless. Yeah, I've put my waterproof on. I figured I'm going to be keeping it on now. Um, it's going to be a bit exposed and windy. So I thought I'd just put it on under my backpack rather than over the top so I can access everything easily. I feel like I might not get to Godavery before eight because I've kind of lost everyone now. And like, I'm gonna be on my own trying to navigate in the dark and it's gonna be slower. Like I wouldn't have had to stop for a minute there if I'd have just been following people. So here's someone coming. Just gotta keep going, keep going. Oh. I have no idea if I'm going fast enough. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah. I don't know either. Yeah. I might just have to not film for like, until we get to good every to be honest. I think I just need to put all the focus into that. Ooh. Guys, I'm really sorry. I have been timed out unless by some miracle I have passed Godevery and no one is there. Then it's past eight o'clock now. So I have now missed the cutoff. I just kept getting lost in these bloody dunes. Really difficult to navigate, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, I've got this one. Is it this way? Oh no, that goes back there. It's fitting to be timed out here. Um, and part of me's like, oh, well, I'm timed out here, so I don't have to do 12 more miles, <laughs> um, which is quite nice to think. Oh, oh yeah, that's some lights. But yeah, so I, oh, frog, look, look at that. Hello, froggy frogs. Or is it a toad? Oh, it looks pregnant. Oh, cute. Right, let's maybe move you out of the middle of the path, just in case runners come. <laughs> come this way. Oh, oh, we didn't like that. I'm just going to leave him. Just going to leave him. Bye bye. Well, I wouldn't stay there. I wouldn't stay there. It's just too far. And uh, once again, I am not fit enough. Right, now see here, it could be that way or that way. Look, could be that way or that way. And it's just like, which way is it? Then you look at your watch and you go, well, that means nothing at all because it's like just a dot on a thing. So I need to get a GPS watch with some features on it. I wish I hadn't stayed as long in the checkpoint. Um, I sort of probably spent more time there than I should, but I just, I've properly like honed this race. Like 
oh, I've gone way faster than than I'm capable of basically on course well that means nothing at all doesn't it right I think I need to go slightly this way okay yeah this way oh I need to get the hang of using this watch I've done the what I think is the best parts of the course which is the course in daylight so I am really pleased that I've got to explore Cornwall um, and I knew coming into the race that training hadn't been ideal and I've got really I've got really heavy as well I ate a lot of chocolate cake over Christmas um, which was delicious but was not a good idea um, running related I need to actually do just do a race with easier cut off you know <laughs> or train and get really fit but basically the main reason that I'm not at Godevery now is due to my lack of speed up the hills and my leaden legs and also the, the bonkers navigating through the dunes so if you're a sort of a 14 15 hour runner like me or like basically if it gets dark after St Ives for you then wrecking the dunes would be wise but then still still it's like dark isn't it that's not necessarily going to help you much it might and it might hinder you because you might be like oh I'm sure it was that way and then it's just not but maybe doing it in the dark once with your GPS watch on would just give you a bit of an idea of what you let yourself in for because this has been a really tricky part of the course see this is what we've been looking for these elusive stone monoliths with an acorn and an arrow and who knows where that points to I'm going this way thank you for watching my film anyway but yeah wouldn't be life if you didn't have a few setbacks so yeah congrats to everybody who finished um write me in the comments below if you finished if you didn't finish if you're thinking about doing the race um if you want any tips from me basically train harder and do lots of hill work um okay let's see what's up here it's starting to look vaguely interesting and there's a purple light hello we're not lost we're not lost we're on the right trail Hi. yeah we've been timed out haven't we yeah how are you feeling um, I'm a bit gutted. yeah yeah because i've worked have you I've got to work in oh on the positive side for this run that I've done oh so, my goodness for a first like 38 it. miler this yeah. is a really hardcore one hello sorry I couldn't make it hello I thought you were front Who, are you Michelle yes oh no I got lost in the dunes I, I just went I went me. wrong is Emma did Emma make it I don't know because I, we haven't she's made not it. here are you Ferg yeah. by the way I'm not fast enough okay. for your race, sadly. Uh, uh, but it's, it's nice easy to get lost in that. Now here, it's very nice head torch. See what there? I've got the, the, the Swift on here. Not to be confused with this, the Zwift, Swift, which I would keep referring to it as because it's a cycling thing. Strong turn, and then I was. I kept. I think it must be the end that I had my watch back in my poles, but I kept turning right, and then it was like, and then I'd look at it, and I'd be off, and it'd be over there again, and I was like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go that's the end let's save it shall we save saving only 37 miles Emma must have made it I'm kind of glad that I haven't because it means I can stop now <laughs> I can get home earlier to this my little my boy well, Michelle let's have a hug Good to meet you. We did some good work for our hotel. Yeah, it was lovely to run with you, and I really appreciated that in the dark. It was really lovely. Oh, here we go. Emma, is it you? Oh, Emma. Four minutes. Four minutes. Bloody how you worked so hard. Yeah. Can I get in? Poor Emma. Oh my God. I'm so sad for you, Emma. How are you feeling? Oh. Yeah, I bet you are for four minutes. That's really gutting. But like, I think I was more like 20 minutes. I just like went completely the wrong way. 
in the dunes if it had just been a road we could have made that yeah definitely but those dunes that's what did for us i think yeah that, those I dunes agree. is that ferg at the front there Me. it's your fault ferg oh, no. what are you doing like making us go through those dunes mm. i feel like i gave it my all but even i couldn't keep up with you and if you've been timed out <laughs> then that felt like it's not yeah it just makes me feel like i couldn't even keep up with you so it's it's right for me to be timed out but not hard. right for you we worked yeah. hard we did work hard i th i should have just not spent as much time in that checkpoint well it's nice yeah yeah it's fatal mm. yeah yeah that would be my advice mm. to anybody if you get there at five leave immediately mm. <laughs> don't stop I got slowed down also with the train line. Did you? Looking at the map for the train line, that yes, slowed me down. Yeah, I did as well. I think if you're going to recce anywhere, recce the dunes and the train mm. line. But yeah, the dunes, they've done me. Recce the dunes, and the next time you run it, it'll be completely different. You say next time, Ferg. It just, it just never seems, it just seems to never go the same way twice. Yeah, but the weather, you'll never get this great weather again. Yeah, I'm not doing this in the rain. No, I don't think that would go well for me. <laughs> it's hard enough in the mm. sunlight. But yeah, it was a great route and um, highly recommended to all. <laughs> I think that might be the end of the film. <laughs> but thanks so. It was really nice. We've been nice filming to... all day. Yeah, I think that also slowed me down a bit. We're going to blame the film. It's a blame the film. Right. Good night, everybody. We're going to go to the pub now. <laughs> At least we're in time for last order, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just hopefully see Hayley, my friend who's running. Oh, what? It's really quick, way ahead oh, of really? us. Oh, really? Oh, I'll fantastic. definitely look on the tracker. Yes, yes, let's look support. on the tracker. I need to see how two of my patrons are doing. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Oh, well done. Well done.